Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving this integral, the product of tangent x, tangent 2x, and tangent 3x. So, at this point you can go out and pause the video and try this problem yourself first before we get into the solution. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, this problem involves tangents, so we can, I mean, the natural approach would be probably writing these as sine over cosines. But now we're going to be getting the product of sines divided by a product of cosines, which is not going to be very helpful because those are products. So we're going to be using a different approach here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, first of all, notice that 3x is equal to 2x plus x. So we can go ahead and write this expression as a sum. So let's go ahead and do that. Tangent 2x plus x. And as you know, we have a formula for tangent, the sum formula. So tangent alpha plus beta is equal to tangent alpha plus tangent beta divided by 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta. So I'm going to use that formula here. So it's going to look like tangent 2x plus tangent x divided by 1 minus tangent 2x multiplied by tangent x. Okay. So by using the sum formula, we can write this. Uh, and on the left hand side, we have tangent 3x. So if you go ahead and cross multiply this expression, we're actually going to get something interesting here. Go ahead and cross multiply. That's going to equal the numerator. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and distribute the tangent 3x, tangent 3x minus tangent 3x times tangent 2x times tangent x. And that's going to give me the sum of tangent 2x and tangent x. Okay, now this is the expression that we have here, tangent 3x times tangent 2x times tangent x. So I'm going to isolate it on the right hand side. So I'm going to bring the every, everything else over here. So we're going to get tangent 2x. Actually, let me go ahead and write it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate this. So let's go ahead and do that first. Tangent 3x times tangent 2x times tangent x is going to equal, if I go ahead and subtract this expression from tangent 3x, that's going to equal tangent 3x minus tangent 2x minus tangent x. So something interesting about uh, tangent of these angles that the product kind of equals this type of sum, okay? I couldn't call it a difference because there are three terms, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it a sum. So uh, integrating both sides basically are going to be the equivalent. So the integral of tangent 3x times tangent 2x times tangent x dx is going to be the same thing as the integral of tangent 3x minus tangent 2x minus tangent x. So this is good because now we have a sum and sum is very easy to integrate. We can just separate those and write each one as tangent 3x dx minus tangent 2x dx and minus tangent x dx. Okay, cool. Now, it all comes down to the integral of tangent then. At this point, you may or may not know the formula, but let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit. How do you integrate tangent, right? Uh, you can do different kinds of things, but the most um, common approach here would be writing it as sine over cosine. And then use the u substitution because if you say that okay u equals cosine x then du would be negative sine x dx if you differentiate both sides and then um, we do have sine x dx so sine x dx would be equivalent to negative du and if you go ahead and substitute those you'll be getting a negative du over u which is ln, right? So the integral of 1 over u du is going to be ln u, and there's a negative sign in front of it, so I can just go ahead and write it as negative ln u plus c. So that's the formula we're going to use in our expressions, but we do have some constants here, so if, if you just write this as ln of u, which is sine 3x, uh, when you differentiate, you're going to get an extra 3 there, so what I need to do is to undo that extra 3, I have to multiply this by one third. So if you take into consideration the coefficients, then the answer is gonna equal negative one over three. 
and I'm kind of skipping the absolute value business here. So, I mean, if you had a definite integral, you would need to worry about that. But right now I'm just going to write it as ln. So this is going to be negative one third of ln of sine three X. And then now this is a negative. So it's going to turn into a positive term with the one half of ln sine two X. And I guess I'm going to have to make some room here for my answer. And then it's going to be a plus sign again because that's a negative and there's no coefficient here to take care of. So that's just going to be ln of sine x and don't forget the c at the end. So that's going to be the integral that we're looking for. So this is going to be equivalent to the integral of tangent 3x times tangent 2x times tangent x. So this is the result. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and like the video. Let me know what you think. And see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.